doll. I forage for her, the doll of my disappointment. A spray of brittle twigs, a faggot of fallen fronds, crusty sticks with lesions of lichen. Crouched over, calling up my ancient sister. Then it is only a matter of seeing and she takes shape. A forked branch and spindly legs start running. Over wide arm span, shock of invisible fingers, guts hanging out, circulation unspooled, half a skirt of flax flowers, all bundled together, leaving a strong stick where her head will go. Overnight, she stands sentinel, my doll of disappointment, through my sleepless 4 a.m. and discarded novels. My insides agitate like giant kelp in a blowhole, somewhere a strange crying, but each time I get up, the whimpering stops. In the morning, the pillow is wet. I'm flimsy, yet my ache weighs heavy on the bathroom scales. I count my losses in the vanity's distorting mirror. It feels like something died, like I never had a chance. I craft her head from crumpled cellophane and glinting, spooky transparency, attach a savage halo. Consider lengths of yarn the violent red of Secobarbital. But she's done. I nurse the day. While she fossicks in the underneath, scrubbing out contagion, cursing humbug and sideshow, drowning out the comfort of friends, muttering spells to turn my gaze away, daubing herself with horse manure, full of grass seed that will eventually sprout green.